Was, okay, what I'm doing today, somebody asked, I am doing legs today. So I'm doing these squats here with one foot suspended on the bench. If you have TRX straps, that's great. It's a function of my wardrobe. Oh, you could keep wishing, but that's not going to happen. I fall flat on my face before that happens, because that is likely. All right, here we go. Third set here. Two, three, bring your back knee to the ground. Try not to focus on your front knee bending because you may accidentally bring your knee too far forward over your toes. So think about your back knee going into the ground. The front knee is going to bend by itself. In the brown, thanks for inviting followers. You guys are killing it for me today. It's a huge help. It's my third set, second leg, and we're alternating this. If you're just tuning in, we're alternating this with squats. With the resistance bands. Now I feel like that was my third set, and I feel like this is only three little dots in the lower right-hand part of your screen. Those are my friend, and they're making my numbers go through the roof with your help, you guys. Okay. These are squats again with these resistive bands, which are inexpensive. They don't take up a lot of space at home, and they're easy to use. So go ahead and get a wide stance on here. That will help the resistance on these. Hold the bands under your feet, like a balls of your feet or so. Drop your butt down below your knees if you can. Like I said, on the way up, you'll notice that the straps are actually adding some resistance, which is nice. 14, 50 is not enough. You can crisscross these in the back of you. Try it again. You just added some resistance, OK? If you're tired of like widening out your stance, because that just doesn't seem to be doing enough. And again, these have different boobs. Um, I know. Thank you. So, two, oh man. I changed the name to Steel Training and Fitness. I don't know if you knew that. I thought it'd be fun to have my name on the outside of the building. So I did it. But Ashley, you are welcome to come back anytime. I hope you're well. Okay. Go ahead and grab something like a. Big ol' resist a ball. Put it up against the wall. We're gonna do squats here, okay? So wide stance. I'm gonna add a weight here for a little bit extra challenge. But go ahead and keep your head up and keep your shoulders over your hips. Drop your butt down as far as you can. Below your butt, preferably. You don't have to hold weight in your hands if you don't want to. But there we go. Now you can see better. But it does add a little bit extra resistance, so it is kind of cool. I'm going to do that. Um, Bronx, Puerto Rican invited followers. Thank you, thank you. Do I have Twitter? Yes, I have Twitter. Linda Steele, hot one. Just look at, if you guys, um, if you guys uh, Google me, you're going to find every different social media platform that I'm on. I'm on, like, all of them. Uh, <laughs> an exercise to thin down the, to slim down the thighs. I'm not even kidding. You can't, I can't stress it enough. It's a combination of your diet, your cardiovascular activity, and your weight training. It's really a combination of all of those things. Because think about it. You can't really work, 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 work a muscle and expect to reduce fat in that area, okay? What's going to happen, actually, is your muscle's going to build, okay? So you can't spot reduce fat, and that's no lie. But what you can do is you can get your body to lose non-essential fat by balancing out your diet, your cardiovascular activity, and your weight training. So that's what you have to do. It's really a combination 
of those three things. So there aren't any exercises to make your legs thinner. There are exercises to build your leg muscles, which is what we're doing. I certainly did, and all of my clients who have now mastered it certainly didn't look so good doing this the first couple times, okay? So don't be down on yourself. Just keep practicing it. We're counting on the leg that's planted on the ground to start engaging some stabilizers to hold your balance while all this other nonsense is going on. So if we can count on that, we're building them. And every time you fail and every time you look all wobbly, you're actually working those muscles and every rep is gonna look better and better and better.